Hey guys, today we're going to be learning how to create something like that in Final Cut Pro that looks exactly like a video conference call, like a Zoom call or a Skype using Video Call Grid by FCPX Full Access. Really easy, it's going to take a few minutes. Let's get right into it. So first I'm just going to show you how to install this. All we're going to do is we're going to grab Video Call Grid here, we're going to press Command C, that copies the folder. Then I'm going to go to Go up in the top right hand corner here. So you'll be in Finder, you go to Go. Home, then I'm going to go to Movies, Motion Templates, and in Titles, I'm going to press Command V, and that's it, it's installed, as easy as that. So let's open up Final Cut Pro. So now we're in Final Cut Pro, if we open up our Titles tab here in the top left, you can see here we've got Video Call Grid. Inside here is our plugin. We've got a load of cool options. We've got assets, gallery mode, and speaker mode. So if you've been on a Zoom call in the past year or so, you'll notice that there's two different modes that you can be. You can be in gallery mode, which is where all of the speakers, they turn up in equally sized boxes, or there's speaker mode. And that's where whoever is speaking is highlighted and the rest of the speakers are along the top line. So we have a lot of cool assets for you guys to explore from uh, the backgrounds, we have connecting, connection successful, these cool animations that allow you to build out really authentic feeling Zoom call experience. So let's get right into this and show you how to start building your Zoom calls. So I'm going to start by showing you gallery mode with two speakers. So all we do is we select two speakers from gallery mode and we drop it straight on the timeline like that. If we head up to the right hand side here and we click on the T icon, that's going to bring up our inspector for this plugin. As you can see, we have two drop zones, this first drop zone here and this second drop zone here. Now with the title selected on the timeline, all I'm going to do is I'm going to click the drop zone here and then I'm going to head over to my library in the top left, this little clapperboard icon. And you can see here I've downloaded a bunch of footage of headshots. Um, you guys are obviously going to have your own creative approaches to this and you can have uh, actors who are on calls or anything like that. So I'm just going to use this guy here. I'm going to click on the start of the clip. After clicking on that you can see all I have to do now is click apply clip. And there he is. He's in the zoom call. Now let's go back on here. We'll select our title and for the second drop zone let's select the second person and I'll choose this guy here. Let's click on that and click apply clip. Now if we just have a quick play of that, let's see how that looks. So that looks really good straight away. This is starting to feel like a zoom call already. And as you can see on the top right hand side here, we can change things like this. So we have our speaker name. So let's call this guy Chris. As you can see, we have the ability to move this name around wherever we please. So we could have it in the middle. We could have it over to the left hand side. This also gives you the ability to, if they have a really long name, then all you have to do is just move the box over to our liking, like that. And let's call this guy Joe Johnson. And we can move his name so they're about the same width apart. A common feature of video conference calls is that people tend to mute themselves when they're not talking. So you can see here we have the muted icons and it's very easy. We can simply get rid of those by bringing the opacity down or up. Um, and this is also keyframeable, so if you wanted to keyframe it so that when they're speaking it comes off and when they're not speaking it goes on, then that's something you can do really, really easily. But we don't want to do that today, we just want to remove both of these muted icons, so we'll bring the muted opacity right down on both. And straight away that is looking really, really good. So now let's presume that another caller is getting involved and someone else is dialing in. All we have to do now is head over to the title inspector, click here, and let's choose three speakers. Drop that onto the timeline. Now all we're going to do is we're going to re-import those clips again and we're going to start building out this zoom call again. Then let's quickly give them their new names. And we can remove the muted icons just simply by moving the opacity down. So let's build out a sequence now to make it feel really realistic. So Christopher's going to be on the call first, Joe's going to call in, and Bethany is going to join afterwards. So all we're going to do quickly is we're going to go back to our titles inspector, we're going to grab one speaker, we're going to put that at the front. For this we're going to grab Christopher, we go back to our video library, and we're going to pick Christopher. We click on him, we click apply clip. There we go, let's add all of his personal details again. 
So if we head back to the titles inspector, we can head back to our assets and start playing around with these. You see here we've got the blank background. This is going to be good for starting our film. And we'll just make that really short. So that Christopher pops up from a blank background. It's just a little bit more realistic. And we're going to grab the connecting title here. I'm going to drag this on the top. And I'm going to make it a bit shorter here. So this is going to have a flashing connecting text box that's telling us that it's trying to connect to the call. That's going to look a little something like this. And then I'm going to drag the two speaker mode that we made earlier over so it's the next clip and Joe joins the call. When Joe joins the call we're going to add this connection successful icon at the top here. We're going to have that sit exactly next to the connecting title that we added earlier. So it now goes from connecting to connection successful because Joe has joined the call. We're then going to go from two speakers to three speakers. So I'm going to drag our two speakers to the left, just here, and we'll go straight into three speakers and Bethany joins the call. And as you can see, we can go from one speaker all the way up to six speakers with gallery mode. So let's take a look how that looks. That's looking really, really good. Just like that, we've turned three clips into something that looks exactly like a video conference call, and it was so easy. Now, as I mentioned earlier, we have two different modes. We have gallery mode, which has equally sized image boxes, and we also have speaker mode, and this is where you would highlight the speaker as the main image, and the rest of the speakers congregate on the top line. So if we now drag three speakers from speaker mode into the timeline, I can have we can take a quick look at how this works. And as you can see, it's exactly the same as gallery mode. We just use drop zones, we can change the image pan, the image scale, the speaker names, and the name position. The only difference is on speaker mode, the main speaker doesn't have a mute icon because of course they are always speaking, that's why they're the highlighted speaker. And the other guys who are lined up along the top are exactly the same as in gallery mode. We can get rid of their muted icons by simply changing the muted opacity here. So hopefully you can see this is a really simple to use, really intuitive and quick plugin to make video conference calls in Final Cut Pro in a matter of minutes. Using the drop zones is really easy. If you have any very specific timing needs and your clips aren't perfectly timed, I suggest just using compound clips and dropping those into your drop zones. If you need any assistance, feel free to get in touch with us. We're always here to help. And we're so excited to see what you guys make with this. Make sure you stay creative. Ooh. Mm -hmm.